Welcome to this week's video. We're looking at this awesome digital microscope. Something I've had for a while now and I just wanted to make sure that I would played around with it enough before I made a video on it just so that I could show it off to its full capability. Um, in the interest of transparency, the company that makes these actually sent it to me for free on the basis that I would make a video to share with you to show off how awesome this product actually is. I'm going to link the product down in the description below and you can go and check that out for yourselves if you are interested. Now, I'm not going to make any money off any sales or any sort of percentage of sales at all. I'm literally just looking at this product as is just to see how good it is. The company is called Andonstar, so thank you so much for sending this my way. This model is the ADSM 302. It's got a five inch display and of course underneath it is the digital microscope with 560 times magnification. Now primarily the company makes these for people who work well with very intricate things so motherboard soldering or even phone repairs but in this instance they thought it'd be cool to share with somebody that looks at coins so that we can have a look at the details really closely on those. So let me just show you some more of the kit. So the device comes with a lot of connections and whatnot. I mean, we've got this, and this is part of the power cable, and it's got an on-off button on it, and then this and that, plus a minus button to actually zoom in and out on. So that's really handy if you don't want to actually use the... There is a way of doing it manually off the device, but I'll show you that to you in a second. But you get all sorts of connections to get it hooked up to your laptop or even on the monitor at the top you could actually insert an ssd card and record that way but there's the connections for everything and also power to put these lamps on or these lights which really helps just wanted to show off the display screen quickly because it's really easy to navigate what you've got is an on off button you've got a mode button then up and down arrows that's obviously for zooming in and out as well as the little device that I've already shown you then you've just got the OK button which is just to select when you've actually chosen what you want to go on to and then you've got the different camera modes you've got when you're looking at it live and then you've also got it so that you've got the capability to take still photos now let's have a look at the device all put together and all I've done there is I've actually taken the microscope part that has the monitor attached and slotted it into its appropriate compartment and what you'll have at the back, just at the bottom, is one of the power cables goes in, that does the lights, and then another one will come off this center one, the USB slot. You can either just plug that into the mains, or if you're going to a PC, you actually plug the other end of the USB into the PC, that powers the device up. And you've got many inputs and outputs, like I said, you can even use a memory card to record what you're doing, or even take photos, which is really cool. So let's just switch this on. So first of all, let's just get the lights in, or at least the power for the light there we go and then if I just get the power in there you'll see that it turns on it says welcome and then what we're looking at is just magnification at the moment of the base plate now what I want to do is actually start looking at some coins but this is a good solid device it's got it's all metal and it's got a good weight to it you can tell that this is good value for money Let's have a look at what coins I'm going to be looking at under the scope. I want to get a good range of coins to look at. So what I've done is I've gone so, for some ones that will need closer detail and other ones that are just interesting to see the closer detail, even though you can see them with the naked eye. Now, I'm going to be looking at one of my Britannia silvers, one ounce. I'm also going to be looking at this oddity that a lot of you will know from my coin hunts that I found a while ago. But then also I'm gonna be looking closer at my Team GB coin. I wanna see exactly how it looks under a microscope and how off center that printing is. Then I'm gonna be looking at the Queen's Beasts Completer Medallion or Completer coin, just having a look around the outside. And then interestingly, I'm gonna be looking at this 2017 silver proof one pound coin because the detail on those, especially the micro dating, stunning and the way it shows up with this device is amazing what you'll also see is that i've got my old 50p and two pound coin collections because i'm just going to choose some random coins to have a look at and there might be a few other additional extras thrown into the mix maybe even a guess the coin at one point 
But let's get in now. I'm going to be switching the footage from the table and going only to the computer because that's where I'm recording the footage to. We're going to start off with one of my favorite 50p coins, which is the WWF from 2011. And just look at the detail zoomed in on that. It's just fantastic already. And I'm only showing a part of the coin. Now, obviously, I'm going to start moving this around and I might have to refocus. But there we go. So you can see, and it's just such a shame that I haven't actually got a silver-proof version of this coin because obviously this coin is worn, but you get exactly what I mean with the magnification. It's just absolutely stunning and shows off some of the details that you wouldn't have been able to see before. If I just go around there, there's my finger again. we got 2011 let's see if I can bring that coin back around to show all of the images on the other side but yeah I absolutely love this device already and you'll see for yourselves that with some of the other coins that are of proof standard just how much better they show up so let's have a look at some more what I'm showing off now is a 2017 silver proof one pound coin. Obviously the year that the 12 sided one pound coin got released, I bought the silver proof edition. And this is in a plastic capsule. Just zoomed in on the front. There's actually something that I wanna show off on the one pound coin and that is the micro dating. Not too many people are familiar with the fact that these coins have micro dating and that's around the edge of the coin. I've just moved the coin up slightly so that you can see roughly where it is. Obviously at the moment it's magnified, but what I'm going to do now is zoom in even further so that you can see how obvious that micro dating is with this device. And there you can see it, plain as day, looks amazing. On the other side of the coin it's also got one pound written around the side, so let's have a look at that quickly. And there it is. It's really interesting to be looking at these coins, actually without just seeing them with the naked eye just to see how much detail is actually on them. Something I've got a few in my collection of that I don't really show off on video is my Britannia collection. And these are obviously silver coins. And right there is the detail. I think that the Britannia coins don't really shine through with how much detail is actually on them until you look at them on this level. You can see that there's something going on there, but it's quite difficult to see with the naked eye. So let's get closer in on that. And you can see exactly what I mean. I mean, we know that there are lines there. We know there's something going on, but to actually see it with that much detail is phenomenal. One of my favorite five pound coins of 2021. Wasn't best pleased when it was first announced, but I got over it because obviously I collected all 10 and then I got told that there was a completer medallion. But I am over it because the coin is stunning. This is of course the coin. Let's see how far I can get around. Just showing off the actual beasts and the detail. Oh, I'm not very good at this. You do have to have a bit of a steady hand for this, but let's just see if I can get this one around the corner. I'm not going to have all the animals facing the right way, but it doesn't matter. You get the gist of it. Let's see, where did I get to? Uh, in there, get back on the other side. That's the only thing that's quite difficult about it, especially the way that I've got it set up. I'm using it, I'm recording it onto a PC. If I was using the actual monitor that's on the device, it'd be much easier to navigate. But yeah, it's almost like driving something that you have to turn it left to go right because the way that I'm actually set up and looking at it but there we go uh, let's see if I can actually get back around to the start there we go but you get the gist of it and let's just have a look at the middle quickly get that into shot there we are. Queen's Beasts and the Queen in the middle now let's have a look at a two pound coin this of course is the Magna Carta and again, I just can't get over how much detail you get into when you actually start focusing closely at a coin. 
Uh, this might appear out of focus to some people, but that might be because I need my eyes tested. To other people, this might look fine, and therefore you probably need your eyes tested. But there we go. Um, I've tried some USB devices in the past. I've got a few in the house, just to look at coins from my own from my own personal collection. But they've never really been that good, and especially to be able to look at them with this much detail on their own monitor and also on the computer um, without it actually being grainy. It's amazing. Any of you that are familiar with my coin hunts know that I keep some oddities at the back of the book, and this is one of those oddities. This is a Benjamin Bunny coin that I found at some point at the end of last year, I believe it was, and it looks god awful, but. Let me just zoom it on on the other side so you can see. That's probably the better side of the two, and this is actually the reverse of the coin. But the obverse, let me turn it back over. It's got almost like molten lava all over it. But look at that. So cool to be able to actually check that out. I'm going to zoom in closer on that. And I know that that's not really that coin related, but it's just to show off the magnification. It's showing me detail even on that oddity that I can't really see with the naked eye. Now before we go any further, I've now chosen a random coin from my collection, zoomed in on it as well as I can, and I'm just wondering if you can guess in the comment section before I actually announce it, what this coin is. Well I'm going to start moving it now anyway, I'll just start moving it around a little bit, maybe give you a few more clues, okay, well there we are. You now know that it's a 50 pence coin. And then what if I show you the middle? Does that make it more obvious? Let me see if I can get it into the middle. There we go. Okay, so for any of you that didn't manage to guess it, I'm actually looking at the Sir Isaac Newton 50 pence coin. Let's just see if I can show all of the name off. Not a bad job. But there we go, that's the Newton coin. And just being able to see all of those grooves and how much depth there is to it. Now this next coin was quite controversial and not nothing to do with the actual coin itself other than the way that the color printing was done on some of the coins. Now, I was quite happy when I got mine. This is just the 20 pound bunk version with color on it. I didn't get the silver proof, but some of the silver proofs that I saw out there were just crazy how bad they were printed. Now that I'm looking at this under the scope, I can actually see that it's a lot worse than I thought, but not so much to the naked eye. So I'm happy with it still. But there you can see how off center those rings are and even some of the Team GB writing. The lion, that actually looks fine, but it's just quite interesting to see it really up close to see that detail. So let me have a look in at the Olympic rings a bit closer. Wow, I'm actually blown away by how cool that looks. That's almost art in its own right. I mean, if you were to crop that and print it off as art, it would definitely pass. It's actually really interesting to see that the printing is almost like micro dot printing, but massively off center. Look at it. But again, to the naked eye, it doesn't appear so. But now that I'm looking at it with that much detail, and scrutinizing it, I can see how off-center that is. It's actually really bad, but I think that's really interesting though. Just look at that. Like I said, to me, that's almost art. And the last coin that we're gonna look at is actually a two pound coin again, the Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland two pound coin. And fantastic to be able to look at such detail. Once again, I know I'm overusing this word, but that's exactly what it is. Um, it's nice to be able to see the Northern Ireland flag because so often they've worn away, it's hard to tell, but you even see some people getting duped on sites like eBay where people have just taken the England flag, scratched away at the middle of the coin or the middle of the flag, and then obviously it's not the real McCoy, but people think, well, there's definitely something going on there. But like you can see here, there are the raised bumps and you can just about make out what should be the Northern Ireland flag. Very difficult to even tell now, but that's just because the coin is so old and worn away. Right, well, I've had a lot of fun looking at these coins under the scope. I hope that you have too. Let's get back to the main table now and I'll close this video out.
And there we have it. That to me is a very successful product and something that I'm definitely going to be using again in the future. In fact, I want to know in the comment section below, what do you think I should use this for? Do you want to see maybe a video once a month where I just start going through coins in my collection and looking at them in finer details? Of course, I'm going to be using it when I'm looking for particular errors and whatnot. But I cannot say anything other than this device is brilliant. And I'm not just saying that because they've sent it to me. Like I said, I'm not being paid. That's my honest opinion. I really like this. It's given me a whole new perspective, especially considering I have tried other USB devices in the past and I've just never got the quality like I do from this. It's definitely a very good, strong, sturdy device. Now, of course, the link is in the description below, but no obligation at all. If you are in the market already to be getting a USB microscope, then obviously I'm hoping that this actually just helps you to make that decision and might even just throw a few more products like this onto your radar. But once again, thank you to And On Start for sending this to me. Uh, very much appreciated. I had a lot of fun making this video and even just working out how it worked and also checking out some of the coins in my collection that I'm seeing from a completely different perspective now. So there we go. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this product and also what one was your favorite coin to see under the scope? And of course, like I said before, I'd love to hear your ideas of what else you'd like to see up close and personal under this microscope device. All that's left for me to do now is to say, if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button? Because I release new coin content weekly. Thanks for watching.